Anything, lady. What <laughs> What are you talking about? They took him! They took Anthony! What? What the fuck are you talking about? Just come down right now! I am in the park! I am next to the paper! Did you call the police? Did you, did you see anybody? No! <laughs> yes! Okay, just, just, shit. Just cut, Kelly, calm down. Just, d d yes or no? No. I did not call the police. I saw a man wearing a cap and he took our baby. Okay, you gotta call the police immediately. I'm coming to you right now. Call the police immediately. until you take me seriously. There's no way you can change my mom. I'm not trying to change your mom. Yes, you are. Please call me Dave. Nice to meet you. Jenna, we're from Mariah's Diamonds Agency. Oh yeah, absolutely. So are you two uh, Don Salvatore's new girls? What do you mean, new girls? 
Uh, well, actually, I mean, uh, new to the studio. Oh. But, uh, you know, there was three of you, now there's two. Oh, yeah, Angelina yeah. couldn't make it. She got stuck in New York longer. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I see. Well, you know, when she's back in town, I can schedule another photo shoot, so. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's what Salvatore said, actually. Yeah, whatever he says, I do. Listen, you, you girls look fantastic. Yeah, thanks. We hope so. Yeah, well, you know, just go ahead and uh, take a moment, and I need to set up the, the lights and calibrate the camera. So. It's cool. Take your time. I think you have us for the whole day, right? Yeah, absolutely. Take your time. I need to touch up my makeup anyway. Can I borrow some? Oh here? yeah. Dave, sweetie, do you have a mirror? They're gone for six months or maybe a year, and then they take the next bus back because they can't hack it in the big city. Honey, there's competition out there, and many of those girls look just like you. Uh, excuse me? Well, what kind of stuff have you done? How long have you been doing it? I've been taking photography about six years now, so. Oh, well, that's a long time. I guess so. Well, the casting director that booked us spoke really highly of you. Yeah, Maria, yeah, she's a real classy lady. You know, I get most of my work through her. Oh, you must do good work for her. Well, you know, I don't like to brag, but yeah, I think I do a, a damn good job for her. You know, she usually sends me actors, and you now she's sending me models, so I can't complain. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to working with you. Giving up a stable job at Mills. Now you bring up Mills? <laughs> if I don't leave there now, I'll never quit. Do you think I want to spend the rest of my life flipping burgers? Well, it pays the bills, and you successfully saved enough money that if you wanted to right now, you could quit Mills and go to community college. <laughs> School college, Mom. I'm not going to waste four years of my life going to school and not be able to use my degree. I'm gonna use the money to make it as an actress in Hollywood. And when I make it, and mom, I will make it. I'll have enough money to go to college. Hell, I don't even have enough to go to five colleges. Yeah, you know, so you guys are models? Uh, we're actresses, actually. Um, well, Jenna and I did some modeling together in New York, and um, Angeline is actually from Iowa, and we all won a modeling contest sponsored by Salvatore. And we're getting in. Yeah. And um, we all three moved here to Hollywood to take Hollywood by storm and become the next big thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you're gonna make it real big. Okay, well, listen, I'm done, so let's do this. Hey, how you doing? How are you? You doing all right, and yourself? No complaints here. You mind if I join you? No, not at all, but I'm almost done. 
That's okay. I'll run along anyway. You know how boring it is to jog alone, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go. Then it might not happen. You're gonna spend the money and end up working in another fast food joint out there in Hollywood. Wow. Thanks for your support, Mom. Stasera voglio giangere e cantare. Come triste stanotte per mia, vecchi pienzo da signo lontano, sente tie calabria mia. We were shopping the other day and Jenna was talking about the oily hamburgers. Oh my god, yeah, I was saying I would never eat one, they're repulsive. Please don't bring that up again, I will throw up. Right. But then I said, why don't we make Salvatore a sandwich? <laughs> we get our bodies all naked and oiled up and wait for our big juicy patty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yeah. Hey, Don Salvatore, man. I'm glad you answered. Yeah, what's going on? Well, uh, I need I need another favor. I need another favor, man. Uh, uh, I need I need 12 grand, and I can't lose this bet. You remember that, that the message I Emmett left you? Yeah, I got your message. Yeah. So on top of what you already owe me, you want to bet again? You, mom, you can't stop me. Are you gonna say a proper goodbye or what? <laughs> God, please take care of my baby girl. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Mom. I have to. I have to push the right me. Oh, God. I don't want to go, but I have to go for the right me, Mom. <laughs> I mean, I got seven to one odds, man. I can't lose. And uh, hey, listen, if I if I win this bet, then you know I won't have to owe you another cent. Yeah, but you know what happens if you lose. Yes, I know. What happens? I'll owe you another fifty grand plus another ninety. Plus the juice, you owe me about one hundred fifty grand. <sighs> yes, but I I won't lose. Yeah, but if you lose, I'm taking your apartment. I'll sign the papers and I'll overnight the, uh, the the paperwork to you. Yeah. Baby, you are a degenerate gambler. Hey, maybe so, but once I once I win this bet, man, I won't have to owe you any more money. I get my life back and I'll quit gambling and everything, man. 
Uh, I'll take the bet. This fucking guy. Jane, is this you? Don't say my name, you idiot. What's wrong with you? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I can barely hear you. The phone is it's like a bad connection or something. I'm using a public phone, that's why. Look, we have to end this conversation immediately because I'm, I'm sure there's someone listening in on the conversation. How they could be trying to trace the call as we speak. Well, no one's trying to trace you, okay? You know, just, just calm down, take a deep breath. Okay, you don't know what you're talking about, so how fast can you get here? Um, I'm at the grocery store right now, so I can, uh, uh, 15 minutes. You know, you put the flashing headlights and the fucking walking 50 feet behind you. You know, the whole thing is nonsense. It is not nonsense if you're working for who I'm working for. It does not joke. Okay, just stop being paranoid, okay? I mean, who do you think you are, Lady James Bond? Well, this is the end of my road. So that's all? Yes. I do my tree routine and then I'm going home. Tree routine? Yes. What are you doing that for? To relax my muscles. Ah, looks pretty good. You mind if I do it with you? Actually, no. I would like to be alone. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I seem to be upsetting you. I'll leave now, right? That would be just fine. Okay. Bye. No, I'm not your muscles, motherfucker! When you see Satan, tell him hello for me, huh? Okay, let's just get this done with, okay? I wanted to say thank you for doing the photo shoot the other day. The photos came out really nice. I owe you one. Well, actually, I, I do need a favor. Okay, wow. You don't waste no time, do you? All right, well, talk to me. Well, you know that situation I've been telling you about, you know? I, I had hot leads and all of a sudden they went cold. I need new information. And that's where you come in. You know, since you work for the CIA, you know? Shh. Oh my God. We never. Okay, I mean never say who I work for. Oh, oh my God. 
No, I was just, um... Whatever! Just put those headshots back where you found them and get out of my office! And we are gonna talk about this some other time because if we talk about it now, you are gonna regret it. Big time! This is fucking hardcore. I see storm in the family. Father is strong. He made a pact with the devil. My father. Yes. I came here so you can tell me about me, my future. But instead, you're bringing up my father. I have to. Because I see death in the day of judgment. Who's death? Yours. From whom? Who's gonna kill me? This does not show who. Look, I'll help you out any way I can. Just because they didn't follow me here doesn't mean they can't hear what we're talking about. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, first, if you ever want to meet me or call me, you go by John Smith. Okay. If you ever come to my office, you don't ask for me directly. You ask for Agent Donnie. They'll know to call me and I'll know it's you. Okay. Well, nice seeing you. You're always beautiful. What are you doing here, JC? I, I thought you were shooting a movie in Brazil. I finished it last night. I rush it, but everything was perfect. It's not like you to rush anything. You're a fucking perfectionist. Even more so than me. Who you trust the most. Someone in the family. Okay, let me get this straight. You call yourself a fortune teller. Yet, instead of telling me about my fortunes, you're fucking telling me I'm gonna die. I know. You came here to find out good news. But there are no good news for you. Are you ready? Can I take your order? Oh, yeah, sure. Um... I'll have the lunch special. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure how long this will take me. I mean, it's not like I can just walk in and say, hey, Bob, can you throw this uh, in your machine and see if this matches with that? I, I don't know. Yeah, I understand. I mean, just, just work hard for me, okay? I promise I'll try to get this back to you as soon as possible. You know, you're really awesome, you know? You're doomed. I am? The only way you might have a chance is to keep this taro card with you at all times. From now on, this is your lucky charm. Tell you what, I bet you did not predict this. And your lucky charm. Looks like he was strangulated. Just my opinion. Obviously, we have to let the pros decide that. Who's assigned to the case? Do you guys know anything? Don't know much. All right, guys, I'll be over here. Diamond Casting. Yes, this is Marie Diamond speaking.
Yeah, sure, we can help you with that. Oh, well, currently we have a project, a horror project with Al Pacino. Well, it's not 100% cast, but his agent's showing a lot of interest. Oh, and Salvatore, man. How's it going? Where's my money, asshole? I got your money. Um, I'm just going to stop by next week. All I have is $900 right now, man. That's all I have. You get me my money no later than Monday. Okay? You know I care about you, but I'm still going to have to break your fucking legs if you don't, okay? Understood, Don Salvatore. Appreciate it. Good. Would you mind welcoming them? Yes, sir. Let me help you. Officer. What the hell's happening? You don't know us? I'm afraid I don't. It's all right, Tommy. He's fresh. How are you guys doing? Hey, Maria, sweetie. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful, David, my dear. <laughs> hey, I was just about to come by your office. Oh, really? Do what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Well, I wanted to drop off the contacts for you. The girls are beautiful. Well, that's exactly the reason I was calling you. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been too long. Just take us to the scene, guys. Follow me. Sorry about that, guys. It's okay. I'll wait here. All right. I'll just cut your hair next time or do something else different. I said it was okay. Well, you're making me kind of horny looking at you from the back, so. Oh, can you hold on for a sec? Enter. Hey, Hi, babe. Yeah. Oh, and tell her if she's late again, she's going to be fired from the project because this is the second time. You know, I've got better things to do than sit around waiting for her. Right here, detectives. You got any idea on him? Jim Burke, politician. Isn't he a senator or something? Yeah. Didn't he give a speech yesterday about the environment? I never watch TV. I'll be out there waiting for the rest of the guys. Go ahead, officer. Get a haircut, asshole. Maybe try ponytails next time. Senator Jim Burke. I'll live to see this happen. What do you think? Yeah, these are fine, hon. So tell me about your trip in Paris. How was it? Oh, it was way too long. I mean, the models were bitchy, and uh, we didn't get a lot of work done. But oh, the photographs turned out amazing. Uh, well, the work experience was a bit of a sham, though. Well, that's because you didn't use me as your photographer, you know? I. I keep those models in line, you know, they don't, they don't give me any shit. What do you think? Strangulation, the multiple head contusions. Uh, I don't know, we'll dust some fingerprints and see what we come up with. I doubt it. Seems like a pro job. Well, let the CSI techs take care of that. Let's get out of here and question some neighbors. Shit, Gene. You're always in a rush, seriously. You have to, sometimes you have to Oh, be patient, analyze the scene. You might find something. Fuck this scene. I gotta catch the game tonight. The text will be anytime soon. It'll give us all the evidence we need. Mm. Speaking of evidence. Smell that. Shit, Gene, why? It's because you're a detective. Smell it. it smells like church. Incense. You act like you found Jimmy Hoffa's body. It's just a fucking playing card. It's a tarot card. It's an important clue. This can predict the future. Him and I, we do business since way back, and hey, you know I would never double-cross you, right? You know? Oh, yeah, I know that. It's just that the guy was a little weird. He called and said, hey, Dave said to make an appointment for my girl. Yeah, that's him, all right, you know? Uh, he's a little obtuse. Uh, what's their relationship? Uh, well, uh, the three girls are his daughters, and the, the guy is, um, he saved my life, so. Saved your life? Yeah, you know, I, I, I remember like it just happened yesterday. It happened actually in this neighborhood.
motherfucker. Where's the fucking money? I don't have the money, man. Don't fucking lie to us. We're gonna teach you a lesson you're never gonna forget. Avoiding us was the wrong thing to do. What do you think you were gonna hide, huh? I'm not, I'm not gonna hide, man. I wasn't, I wasn't hiding. You're my bitch now. Come on, come on. Hey. Who are you? Just call me a fucking guardian angel. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, that is quite a story. Yeah, no kidding. You're angel. Weird. Hey, uh, listen, I gotta, I gotta get going. Okay. I have to pick up my car at the, the shop, so... You know what this card is? See this card before? I see it every day. What does it symbolize? Depends on the combination. What combination? The combination of cards. Depends what your soul draws from the deck. What does it mean in general? It can mean anything. It can mean happiness. What do you mean? Dead. Depends. Whose heart is it? Is it your heart? Or is it your enemy's heart? Do you remember giving this card to anyone? I never give my cards to anybody. I have a full deck right here. Let's get out of here, Jamie. Salvatore, man, this is Dave. So I'll let you know that I have this debt on my mind and that I'm gonna come by and give you a piece of it. It's not gonna be much, but at least something, you know? You know, I just wanna let you know that I'm not gonna dip down or anything. You know, I'm just in a bad situation financially. Okay, well, Don Salvatore, I'll see you at the house. I got the base deliver. I'm gonna make the sales. So I'm just waiting for you. Okay? Thank you for lunch, huh? Can get some sushi, get sashimi for you. I know you don't like sushi. Hey, Don Salvatore. Don Salvatore. Hey, Davey. Much respect. I brought you this fine tequila from Mexico. Tequila Trump. Oh, that's very nice, Davey. Look at that, girls. Oh, a little bottle of tequila. Yeah, it's uh, funny you mentioned respect. Because you haven't shown a lot lately. What are you talking about? Money you owe me? I have to understand. Sometimes it's not about the money. It's about respect. Responsibility. Hey, well, Mom, where are you right now? It doesn't matter. I'll be in the office soon. Okay. I mean, I'll just be in here. I'll just watch a movie or something. Uh, well, if anybody shows up, uh, tell them to wait. Okay. Take care in there, and I'll see you soon. I will. Okay, bye. Bye, Mom. I know. I'm doing my best, man. You know. I... 
the tracks were doing so good, and then all of a sudden, you know, the fucking college basketball shit just fucked me up, man. And I'm, I'm working out my finances, you know? So what am I supposed to do, baby? Because hmm? I gotta do something. And I ain't gonna like it. I have $800. Please accept it. $800. This is nothing. I'll give this to my girl to go buy a new bikini. I know. Should I have expenses too? Oh, you don't think I have expenses? Huh? You don't think I have expenses, baby? Look where I live, huh? Do you know how much this stuff costs? A lot? Yeah. Look at my girls. Huh? Jewelry, clothes. Shoes. You think that stuff's free? No. No. Baby. You owe me 48 grand. 48 grand you owe me. And you come here? 800 fucking dollars? Come in. Hello. Hi there. Oh, did I get the right place? Yeah, um, I'm Kevin Steinman, CEO of uh, Steinman Casting. Mm. Um, what can I do for you? I'm Monique. I spoke earlier with Maria on the, on the phone. Uh -huh. She told me to stop by. So, is she your employee? Um, yeah, yeah, Maria works for me. Um, Please come in. Um, have a seat. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, what type of uh, interview is this? Uh, it's, uh, an, an acting job? No, for the security job opening. Oh. Here's my resume. I thought you were an actress. I mean, you definitely look like an actress. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah. Well, you definitely have the experience. I wasn't gonna flee town. Hey, and baby, then... I ain't worried about you leaving town, huh? Because you know, and I know, and I'll find you anyway. There ain't a fucking snake hole you can find, I won't find you. I know, right, I know. I want you to learn how to fucking handle your life. And relax, Davey, huh? Relax, Davey. <laughs> Yeah, I need to relax, I know. But my life is a fucking mess yeah, right now. it's a now, fucking dude. mess because you got that gambling shit in your head. Believe me. If you owed this money to anybody else, you'd be dead right now. Can you type fast? Yes, I do. Uh, do you mind if we do a test? Absolutely. Okay, well, here you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what do you want me to type? Um, let's say, uh, Monique is here for a job interview. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, Kevin of Steinman Casting is a very good boss, and, um, probably will hire Monique because she's, uh, very gifted. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Keep typing. Um, Monique is a very fast typist. And is very good at handling the keyboard with her fingers. She probably handles the mouse pretty well too. Okay. Well, what do I do? What do I do? What does he do? Baby, first off, you're gonna learn your lesson. You're gonna pay me my fucking money. Go and you work hard. You rob a fucking bank. I don't fucking care. You pay me my fucking money. And after you've done that, you know, come back here, you know, maybe I take you under my wing, give you an operation to run or something, you know, and leave that photography shit behind you. I don't know, man. I like taking pictures, you know? Oh, then you're gonna be a fucking bum the rest of your fucking life. And you ain't ever gonna have any of this. 
okay, you know, I'll, I'll drop the gambling, I'll clean up, I'll pay you back. We'll start over fresh, you know? Now you get it, huh? Now you get it. First off, you're gonna pay me my fucking money. And I'm gonna do something very generous here. I'm gonna give you two more weeks. Okay, thank you, Don Salvatore. Thank you. See you soon, Davey. Oh, hey, by the way, man, you have three beautiful girls. Thanks, Davey. I think Monique, um, yeah, she's got the job. So, did I really get a job? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, You're so sure. sweet. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> what is going on? Uh, Ma, Maria, um, M Monique was just here uh, waiting for you. Hi, Maria. We spoke earlier. Yeah. So, I just had a Interview ah, I, I've got to um, get to an, an important business meeting. Um, yeah, we'll talk later, okay? Yeah. Mr. Steinman, Kevin, what is going on here? Um, I really have to go. We'll talk later, okay? He told me I'm hired. He doesn't work here. He's my son. Hey, you know, maybe I'll just pull some strings and get you girls in the next James Bond movie. That's exciting. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. See, you're mixing with the right guy. Huh? Me. <laughs> right? I know these people. Huh? Movie business, it's an easy business. So, when do you think you'll be able to get us in for the auditions? Auditions? Uh, there's no need for auditions. No, I'm just going to find out when they make the next movie. I'll make a phone call and tell them the way it is. You're going to make them an offer they can't refuse? <laughs> <laughs> what offer? No, I'm not offering anything. No, it's all free. Oh, yes, we can definitely take care of that. Oh, well, Tom Cruise will be in the next project, but he's not in this one. Well, I still classic Mercedes. No, oh, I love the Mercedes. That right there, that's the car I recommend you buy. Yeah, I, I, I like Mercedes too, man, you know, but fuck. I do not like those Germans, man. Who the fuck likes them? <laughs> Nobody does. No, but the fact of the matter is, they make a good solid car. Running all day after fucking tarot cards. Good lead's not just gonna fall from the sky. You gotta work for it. Give me a break. I told you from the beginning it's a bad idea. Look, man, there's a good possibility they bought the card around here, so. Possibility, my ass. You know what? If you're tired, you're tired. Continue the investigation tomorrow. Fucking thirsty, too. Something to drink, cowboy. Just take a seat and I'll come and get your memories ready for you. Thank you. Sure. I guess it'll take five minutes or so. Okay. I was just quoting that that line from that big mafia movie. Yeah, you know the, the one? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what mafia? What, what, are you, what are you talking about, mafia? What does mafia got to do with anything? Do I? Do I look like Mafia to you? No, I didn't mean you were Mafia. It's just the way you said it, it just sounded, it just sounded like... Why are you talking about Mafia? I'm a businessman. I was just simply making a comparison between you and a character in a movie who happened to be Mafia. That's it. Hey, why don't you compare me to a normal character? Huh? Like the president or something? Leave her alone. She was just saying that because of how you're gonna call the studios and tell them to put us in the movie. Well, okay. Why would you interrupt, huh? Am I talking to you? Or was I talking to her, huh? Do you think I can't handle the both of you? Oh, you know you can handle both of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just an innocent remark anyway. I'm sorry I even said it. And if you're not in the mafia, then there's nothing to be bothered about, is there? How can I not be bothered though? I mean, you say mafia, you know, so I feel like I gotta defend myself. Just 
Get us in the next James Bond movie and forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> ah, forget, about forget about it. About it. <laughs> forget about it. Yes, Monique. Just that you know about your appointment. That Elena Kennedy's here. Oh, okay. Show her in. Matter of principle, you know. I'm not going to sell you the car with a German in it, so I think you're safe. Now this is true horsepower. Speaking of horses, man, I got a sure tip for you. Blackjack. All the way, man. All the money down on No kidding. Yep. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll put some money down on Blackjack if you buy this Mercedes. Sounds like a deal. Come on in. Hi, Maria. Thank you for seeing me, Maria. I promised I would. Yeah, well, I have to thank you. It's not easy getting an engine in this town. I've been working really hard trying to get my career going, but nothing's happened for so long. When I met you, I really got some of my old hopes back. I believe you guys have <laughs> so, anything. What do you think about my new outfit? Oh, yeah, this is sexy, mm. huh? I love it. Fits you perfectly. Yeah, looking good. It's a present from Angelina. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, where is Angelina? Oh, she's having a photo shoot with that, like, weirdo photographer today, Dave, the one she missed the mm. other day. Yeah, I hope he doesn't hit on her. No, you're her baby. He's <laughs> my baby. <laughs> my baby. Oh, uh, hey, you know, I'm the baby of all you girls. Yeah, uh, all of us. Yeah, God, look how good we look together. Um, do you have your ID? I need to register you. And headshots? Oh, yeah, but they're very bad. I got to this casting agency where I met this fat guy wearing a t-shirt coming from a small office. He started talking all these big actor names saying how he's gonna make me famous. He charged me $800 for the worst pictures. Here, take a look. Mm, I think I know who you mean. <laughs> we need to get a picture. We need to get a picture, here we go. Tight. Wow. Look at that, huh? Looks like Hugh Hefner, huh? In his younger days, of course. <laughs> Only much more handsome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this gives me an idea. Hmm? This guy, he's uh, on TV, some reality show, you know? Why don't I take you girls and we hire some of those kids with the cameras and they come here and they film us what we do every day and we make a TV show, you know? We take him out of the TV <laughs> and we put us in there. Yeah, I totally, I want to do that. He's an offensive son of a bitch, too. <laughs> Those kind of people should be in jail. I agree. Well, with me, it's different. I'm going to send you to a photographer who charges $100. He's fast and efficient and gets the job done. So it's $100? Mm -hmm. Your girl's completely knocked me out last night, you know that? <laughs> That's what we call a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> a sandwich. Yeah. Oh. It was my idea. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, she did. I'll give her that much. Yeah, you're a smart girl. You're dirty, too. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It just came to me like that. I wish I knew all this when I first came to town. Well, it's never too late. It's a learning process. Now, I'm going to make an appointment with the photographer. His name's Dave. He's out of town at the moment, but uh, you don't mind waiting. No. Okay. Jesus, I'm yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm okay. Just <laughs> okay. It's fine. It seems like there's a magnet between us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, are you an actress? Yes. Yes, I am. You're not coming from Steinman Casting, are you? Actually, yeah. I just had another meeting with them. See, I could tell that you were a successful actress. <laughs> I'm Kevin Steinman, actually. I own um, Steinman Casting. Oh. <laughs> I know Maria was the owner. No. No, uh, she works for me. Uh, I'm the man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I see. <laughs> Tonight we get drunk. Okay. And then we have lots of sex. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, can you hear me that? Sure, babe. Salvatore, this is Jimmy here. Jimmy who? Jimmy who? Jimmy the engine. Jimmy the engine, Tarantino. Long time no see. 
Cool. Come start to do, baby. Perfecto. What's going on? So I have this guy here, Dave, this photographer from Hollywood. He's in Vegas. Yeah, he's here, all right. It's a fucking prick doing in Vegas. Well, listen, I actually stopped you because, um, well, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Trust me, a well-deserved compliment. Um, listen, I'd actually personally like to meet all the actresses that we represent. Oh, okay. Well, would you like me to go back to the office with you so we can talk some more? The office? No, we can just talk on the couch here. It's more comfortable. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not doing what I think he's doing. Uh, this is why I call you. I know he owes you a lot of money. Yeah, he does. Don Salvatore, all due respect. He just gambled $7,000 on a horse, blackjack. 7,000? Prick told me he has no money. Fucking piece of shit liar. Are you sure about that? I know, and this is not all. He also bought a car from me, 11,000 cash. Where is he getting all this money, I wonder, huh? Fucking piece of shit, liar. Gambler. All right, I want you to watch this guy. I want you to mark his every move, okay? I know what he's up to every second. As far as I know, he just sold his apartment in West Hollywood, and now he's planning on flying to Argentina. Argentina? 110%. I have my information. Watch this guy, okay? Watch his every move, okay? You got it, Don Salvatore. Ciao. Oh, fear them. Is everything all right? No, not at all. Tell me what's wrong. Sad news, honey. Sad news. So I think I can just cast you in an Eddie Murphy film right away. <gasps> oh my God, you're kidding, right? No, I'm a very powerful man in the city. You'd be surprised by how much power I actually have. I love Eddie. Yeah? I've always wanted to work with him. You must be having some kind of an emergency call with me. Yeah, I do. I need you to drop everything and get on the first flight to LA tonight. You're kidding. I got a lot of stuff around here. I gotta take care of business. Yeah, forget all that, okay? Just hang up the phone. Get on the plane and start flying. Madonna, me, are you sure? Yeah. Besides, you need a vacation anyway. Can you at least tell me what this is about? I'll tell you when you get here. Done and done. Bella, bella, pizza. Hey, Giuliano, you need to buy me a plane ticket. Well, consider this your dream come true. We're actually casting him in a love story right now. Okay. Um, let's see if you can act. Uh, do you mind if we do a quick audition? Um, let's explain the scene. Okay. Um, I'm Eddie Murphy, and you're totally in love with me, right? And uh, I'm gonna ask you to marry me, and uh, then we're gonna kiss. Oh, so what lines do I say? Um, let's just improv it for now. Okay. Um, I can get you the script later, okay? Okay. All right. <sighs> Baby, I'm totally in love with you. Will you marry me and accept this ring? Be my wife forever and ever. I'll marry you. <laughs> mm, I love you girls, you know? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What's your name, Salvatore Galvano? Ben Tuzaskin. Detective Perry, Detective Jean, New York. New York City? You guys don't have jurisdiction here. Not with this special order. Uh, yeah, I'm Salvatore Galvano. What are you guys up to? I ain't done nothing. Well, yeah, I'll speak with you privately for a second. I ain't got nothing to hide from my girls. Go ahead. Oh, shit, all my money. Yeah, come in. Senator Jim Burke? Yeah, sure. 
Met him a couple times, occasionally. I haven't seen him in years, though. When's the last time you did see him? Jeez, uh, back in New York, maybe about uh, three years ago. I hadn't seen him since I moved out here. Did you just talk with him over the phone? No, not at all. No, I, I, to be honest, I don't remember what the guy looks like. I don't understand what you guys are asking me about him. Because he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Jeez. May he rest in peace. Come in. Hi, are you Dave Stewart? Yeah, are you Elena? Yes, I'm here for the photo shoot. Okay, listen, I, I have to, to cancel it. Yeah, I have to get out of town. Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with it. We have information that he's working for the Calabrese family when he was supposed to be working for the Galvano family. We believe it was actually retaliation and revenge because he switched sides. And guys, my last name is Galvano, but uh, that's where the similarities end, you know, with me and the Galvano organized crime thing, whatever. You might remember me from an incident in Lower Manhattan. Ah, uh, yeah. Fulton Fish Market. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was arrested. Yeah, it's false accusations, you know, racketeering, whatever. But, uh, you know, hey, I got, got off clean, all right? Come out here to enjoy a little peace. You guys follow me out here and harass me? Hey, we're just asking questions. Oh. Get out of town? You know, hit the road jack, get out of Dodge, you know? Okay, um... If you want me to leave, I'll just go now. Listen, Elena, no, no, come on, come on, come on. I'll take care of the photo shoot for you. You're not under arrest. Yet. <laughs> Guys, I'm innocent. Why don't we start over? Hmm? Relax. I actually got a exciting proposal for you, too. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Hi, baby. Stuck my elbow in a drink. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's uh, three beautiful ladies here, you know, one for each of us. Why don't you guys, uh, you know, lose some clothes, you know, and uh, enjoy a massage. Think he's trying to sell us prostitution? be disrespectful of the ladies here, guys. I think we should arrest them right now. I think you're right. I need this check. OK. Are you sure? Because. But where are you going? Don't worry about it, OK? I'm going to take care of the photo shoot for you. Surprise! Hey, come on. God, how you doing, you motherfucker? God, I haven't seen you forever, you piece of shit. Yo, prick, give me a hug. Get off my head. God damn it. Look at this faggot, huh? Look at this. I love this guy. <laughs> Sit down. God damn it. I miss you. I miss too, you son of a bitch. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. So how's things on the East Coast, huh? Tell me everything. What, what am I missing? Same old shit, just taking care of business. Deal with the Calabrese's. It's getting worse and worse. Yeah, you know, some things never change. Now I see why you came out here. You know, all I wanted to do was to unite the families. But I realized it was impossible. You got all these people coming in there, the Albanians, the Russians, and all the other families, you know, wanted to deal with them. I know you want to keep things amongst Italians, but that's actually why I wanted to take advantage of this trip and ask you to reconsider. The Albanians are very strong now, and the Calabrese's deal with them on a daily basis. So what are you saying, Carmine? I'm just saying maybe it's time we reconsider our relationships. The answer is no. Because these people are scumbags. I'm just trying to stop the war. Everybody's losing money. Maybe it's time for peace. 
These people got respect for nothing. They've been trying to kill me for years. No truce. All the Calabresi must die. And their associates. You run the show. What you say, I do. Monday to Thursday, 8 to 4. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, she can send them over by bike career. I need you to take care of somebody for me. Who? A photographer. His name's Dave Stewart. He owes me a lot of money. He tells me he don't have any money, and then he goes to Vegas, and he loses all this money that he presumably doesn't have. Then he makes another bet, loses more money now that he owes me. But how much money are we talking about here? About 150 G's. But it don't even matter, because he don't even have it. And he's supposed to be giving me his uh, West Hollywood apartment. It's worth 350 G's. And now I'm hearing that he already sold it. You got papers for this apartment? I got papers, but he must have gotten a cash advance or something, I don't know. But here's what I need you to do. I want you to find out what he did, and I want you to get whatever you can from him. But whatever you do, don't kill him. from New York asking me questions. Shit. Yeah, don't worry about it. I already took care of him. All right, we don't need him dead. Just want you to scare him. Hey, we don't need any more heat coming down on us. Just kind of lay low until these two fucks go back to New York. Why'd they come all the way out from New York for? It's about that senator that I asked you to take care of. I left no trace. Hey. Again, don't worry about it, okay? Just find a photographer and give him a good scare. Understand? I don't understand. Listen, Maria, I'm in big fucking trouble, okay? I'm in fucking in way in over my head. Okay? Oh, what kind of trouble? Well, you, man, you remember that man that, that called you over the phone and, 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 and set up that photo shoot with the girls? Yeah, the guy that saved your life, your angel. He shot those two guys that day. Yes. They were attacking me because I borrowed money from them. A lot of fucking money, okay? And I was gambling like crazy that day. Gambling? Yeah, that's what I fucking do, okay? It's a rush. It's a rush like and I love it, okay? I love the shit out of gambling. So you borrow money from him? Yeah, you know, and I don't have much money left. You know, he, he saved my life that day, and now he's coming to take it away. Oh, is he dangerous? Yeah. Yeah. He's Italian Mafia. Oh, that's nonsense. Look, I'm gonna lend you the money, and you're gonna pay it back, and you're gonna stop gambling, and that's that. It's not as easy as it sounds, Maria. I owe him $100,000, and you don't have that kind of money. Oh my God, that's my four years' wage. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dave, what have you got yourself into? It's not all. You know, I sold my apartment. And I gambled it all away, and now I'm $347,000 in debt. And all I got left is this fucking one-way ticket to Argentina. <laughs> oh, you sweet baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you get the letter? What letter are you talking about? I found out the information. Oh, you did? Okay. Okay, check your mail. I gotta go. I think this call might be traced.
Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Give us the fucking money. I don't have the fucking money, man. I don't... <laughs> Miss! <laughs> Miss! What's the matter with you? <laughs> We're fucking playing around. Hey! this out. You sure it's connected? Definitely. Got the proof. Found it in his pocket. That's some crazy shit. Boss, you gotta hear this. Peace like this. I got bad news. You're bad. Very bad. I'm afraid you won't be seeing any money. He left the country. Worse. He's dead. I told you not to kill him. I didn't. The fucking guy had a heart attack right in front of me. You killed him. I didn't. Look, I wish I could repair this for you. I know you're sorry about your money, but there was nothing I could do. Okay. Okay. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go to his photo studio and his house. And I want you to find any evidence that might connect me to him. And I want you to destroy it. You understand? What are you still doing here? Hands on your head. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Kill them all. We got enough evidence to put you away for 20 years. But it's not true that we won. What do you want? Give us Salvatore. He's the one we're looking for. Testify against him. What we're offering is for you to give us the boss. If you walk away with murder. No one's gonna make you a deal like this again. You guys are funny. What makes you even begin to think I would testify against my own? You ready to go to jail for him? Why are you protecting this piece of shit? 
This piece of shit is my father. She's not here. Where could she be? She was supposed to wait for us here. I don't know, but I'm starting to get seriously worried. Fucking shit! Fuck, fuck this is a bad situation! Stop cursing so much. You're making me nervous. My mom is missing, and there's a murder on the loose. You honestly give a shit if I'm cursing right now? Mom, you're okay. I thought something happened to you. We're so worried about you. I was here. I just went to the bathroom. I've got bad diarrhea. Okay, listen, Mom. This is the plan, all right? Me and Elena, we got two tickets to Ohio because we don't want to deal with this mafia shit. We're going to go stay with a couple of my friends in Ohio until this stuff settles down. You're going to come with us, right? Ohio? Why Ohio? Because they have churches. Yeah, me and Elena, we're going to go join a church in Ohio until, you know, things settle down. You are coming with us, right? I think you two are overreacting a little bit. I mean, they don't know we reported the crime. Going to Ohio is a little bit of an over-exaggeration. Mom, didn't you watch the history of the Mafia on the Discovery Channel? I mean, those guys are gonna find you even if you hide in a vagina hole. Yeah. Thank you for bailing me out. No problem. How can I leave my son in jail, huh? I might be crude, but I'm still a father. I got it. Maria Steinman. And that little actress, Elena Kennedy. Oh, and uh, the son, too. Renee! Hi! Make me a drink! Meet me upstairs! I wanna fuck! Oh yeah. There's no time to lose. Take the plane tickets and go to Ohio. You're not gonna come with us? Please come with us, Maria. Just to be safe. Honey, I've dealt with the worst scammers, sleazy producers, double-crossing parasites, crazy people in this town. And they are worse than this mafia you're talking about. I'm not gonna let some degenerate Italians make me leave town. Mom, you're a brave woman, okay? I know. But please listen to me. Come with us and let's leave this town until things settle down. Enter. I want to become an actor. Did I come to the right place? I killed them all. I searched for all the evidence that connected you with them and the photographer and destroyed it. What'd you do with the bodies? I chopped them up, put them in plastic bags, into the trash. I used your connection, the guy with the dump truck. Good. By now, Learn the tons of garbage. Nice. What is that? That's just some construction junk. I'm doing some remodeling. You did a good job, son. I knew I could trust you. Ever since I was a boy, I always loved the moments like this, when you showed me kindness. What do you mean? You know, you're always rough with me. Beat me up when I was a kid. You always said you were my father, but you rarely treated me like a son. When I was wiping your ass from time to time, that was from love. It's a tough fucking life we live, Carmine. I had to raise you to be tough. Being kind is not a way to raise a child. Fuck kind! Especially for a kid who's chosen to run the Galvano family. 
You would have chosen them. You chose it. Why'd you choose me? Because you are my only son. Well, maybe because you're not my real father. And I am not your fucking son. Die, you piece of shit. You tried to kill me, you little oh. bitch? Huh? You think you can? Huh? Many tried for years and they all died. <sighs> the Count Lablace family tried too. And every try was met with failure because I'm invincible. Huh? I'm immortal. And now it's your turn to die, you little bitch. You just told me everything. <laughs> This may be a surprise to you, but Salvatore is not your father. That's not all. Want to hear more? What are you talking about? We found a letter on Dave Stewart's body. Turns out he hired a CIA agent to trace his brother who was stolen when they were infants. The letter reveals his identity. He found the name and address it's just before he died. It's you. What is all this nonsense? You killed your own brother. I knew this would you know, come out one day. You can't hide something like this forever. Yes, I stole you from your mother. I didn't know you had a brother. If I'd have known, I would have taken the both of you. Why'd you have to steal me? Why couldn't you just make your road? I couldn't. That was the problem. I was 21 years old, and this doctor tells me that I'm shooting blanks. I'm on my way in the family business. I'm gonna take over. And you know as well as I do that in our world, no fucking eunuch is gonna become the boss of the bosses. You gotta prove your manhood. If you can't have a kid, then you take one. You were my proof of manhood. My only son. And these two fucking dogs, these detectives, they try to turn you against me, try to have you kill me. They can't get to me through the law, so they send my son to do it. These two dogs. Turn my son into a fucking dog. A fucking dog. I'm not your son. You're a fucking animal. You'll pay for what you did. They'll be here any minute to rest you. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, my. Shut the fuck up. Oh, fucking piece of shit. You piece of shit. You fucking dog. You let these motherfuckers. They? Huh? They? Are these the guys you're talking about? These fucking guys working for the Calabrese family. I could smell them before I even saw them. You see? I am smarter than everyone. I am going to kill every one of you son of a bitches. Right, come here. I want to show you something. Right? Come here. Jealous God, filled with vengeance and wrath. He takes revenge on all who oppose him and furiously destroys his enemies. Shut up! 
the Lord's power is great. <laughs> and he never lets the guilty go unpunished. <laughs> Dave, what have you got yourself into? <laughs> and that's not all. <laughs> I sold my apartment and, and gambled it all away. And now I have $347,000 in debt. <laughs> and all I've got left is this fucking one-way ticket to Argentina. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Cut. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. Maria, what do you think? It's perfect. I think we've got a great play. I like it. Robert will like it. I'll pull all the strings to make it happen. Follow 
Miami. Pay me my fucking money. Mom, didn't you watch the history of the Mafia on the Discovery Channel? I mean, those guys are gonna find you even if you hide in a vagina. In a vagina, vagina, vagina. But I have expenses too. Oh, you don't think I have expenses? Big time! Come out here to enjoy a little peace. You guys follow me out here and harass me? Follow me.